What's up, YouTube? It's your favorite commentator back. And, you know, it's, it's Friday morning, so I figured I'd give you guys some content. Show about nothing. So, I'm talking about nothing. But what really got me on here today was I, want, I saw a tweet today, and it was kind of funny to me. Somebody had tweeted, you know, when you're talking with your, your new girl or a new chick you like or a new guy you like, and y'all kind of go through that. So, like, you ever talk to anybody I know? You ever slept with anybody I know? And I don't like to ask this question. It does come up sometimes. It does. Personally, I don't like to ask it because I don't care if it's before me. As long as we both straight when we get here, i.e. tested, i.e. over, past stuff, i.e. You know, went through whatever. I don't know. Whatever. We here. We're, we're here now. But it, sometimes it comes up. You know, you can't really avoid it all the time. But so it's like <laughs> somebody had tweeted when uh, you ask and she says, I mean, I probably shouldn't tell you since you follow him or not. But you follow him, right? And I just started laughing because I don't know what I would do in that situation. I don't. If if I'm talking to Shorty and she pretty much just go, I used to either talk to or mess with a guy you follow. And me and him, we ain't, sometimes we ain't got to be cool. It's just some fact that I like see him on social media. You feel me? But hey, that is what it is, right? I'm personally, I don't care. Like, I really don't care. But f that's before me, because when you hear, you hear with me now. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I feel like relationships, a lot of people early on don't understand. Like, when we go out, why are you worried about the woman or the guy? If you know, if you're a woman, like, who I used to talk to? I'm with you. Like, why are you worried about that stuff? So, like, you know, it's just kind of getting over insecurities, getting through that stuff. Like, because at the end of the day, who's for you is for you. And it really doesn't matter past. Like, it don't matter. Because everybody got one. Everyone went through a growing phase. A growing phase. They went through, a, you know, trying to figure out what they like. You know, because I, I wholeheartedly believe in, in dating, right? I believe that to figure out what you like, you need to date. Because that'll tell you 100% what you like, what you're into, type of people you're interested in. Whatever, you know, because you'd be surprised. You'll see somebody perfect, and after three months, you realize, oh, we never talked about religion, or we never talked about politics, or we never talked about, I don't know, the type of shoes we like. We never talked about the type of food you like. We never talked about we like to travel. Y'all just get to know each other early, and it's all that, you know, surface stuff. Like, so date, because two months in, you're giving somebody some attention, but you know you got other people you're dating. You might realize, you know what, this ain't it, but because you ain't put all your eggs in your basket, you got opportunities. Also, on the flip side of that, I'm also a big proponent of dating yourself, learning yourself, figuring out what you like to do. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are rushing to dating or they're rushing just trying to meet a whole bunch of people and they don't even know what they like. They kind of configure or conform to what, you know, the person they're dating at the time likes or if you was in that long relationship, you've been with somebody for three, four years and you kind of only like, or your whole self is just built or created out of what you wanted to be for them. You never, ever, you know, became the wrong person. So that's a real big part. Like everyone goes through it, some younger, some older. Because if you don't know who you are, you're not gonna be no good for nobody else. You know, um, another Twitter topic, right? Dating yourself. I, a lot of women, a lot of women I feel like don't do this because one, society makes it hard for you guys to kind of just be in your own element in the public. It sucks, I get it. Um, but it's one of those things where I feel like if you're able to or you're comfortable doing, you should definitely do, you know? It's not weird going to the movies. Well, now you can't get the COVID, but it's not weird going out to eat by yourself. It's not weird going on trips by yourself. It's not, that's not weird. Like, that's, we should normalize being able to, hey, it's Friday, I had a long day. I want to go to a restaurant and have a table for one. Hey, it's Saturday, I want to go to, you know, to the, the mall or to, the movies by myself and just have a self-care day. You know, I want to go get my nails done by myself, right? So normalize figuring out what you like. Going on trips by yourself. Realizing, hey, when I go on trips, I like to really chill. You know, because typically when you go with something other, they might want to be the person that does all these things, right? Just date yourself. Learn about yourself, man. Learn what your interests are. Read. You know, sit at home. Sitting at home is one of the biggest, like, things that I feel like you could do to kind of figure out what you like because when you're in like your own thoughts 
you started doing a lot of like your own weird stuff. Cause they call it weird, but it's like what you like, right? So just a little piece of advice for me that, you know, I've picked up over the years to kind of really make yourself comfortable. Because once you're comfortable with yourself, can't nobody do get you out your get you out your hookup. That's some old people slang right there. Can no one ever tell you, you know, oh that's weird. You're like, that's just me, bro. Like, if you don't like it, that's fine, keep pushing. Okay. But we can move on, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, I got a haircut. I told y'all. Hey, I feel like a whole new man. That haircut of, hey, change your life. Get to change your life. Stop playing with him. Get you a good barber, good stylist, whatever you want. Hey, listen. A good stylist or barber is kind of like a good investment, right? It's like, it's like you know, getting that, it's like getting that oil change every few months, right? You want to you wanna invest back in your car so that way it gets to where you got to go. Right, safe and sound, don't have no issues, don't have no problems. Hey man, this is my this is my billboard, right? This is how I sell myself, right? This is how I, I get companies and people to go, hey, who's that guy? You know, he's a nice guy, right? Looks good, you know, he has a good demeanor. He gotta look good. Keep that hair fresh on point, makes that beard lined up. Um, yeah, got the haircut. It's Friday. I'm chilling. I ain't really got nothing. Uh this weekend supposed to be pretty cool. It's Easter weekend. So I'm gonna I'm try and um, go to church. So I need to do that. It's Easter, you know. If you guys, if you don't do that, okay, that's great for you. But you know, I was raised in a Christian home, so I'm, I'm gonna go to church on Easter. I think it's virtual still. So I'm gonna wake up, put on a nice shirt, watch some sermons, you know, watch him talk about how he rose. But it's a good day outside. Um, I might go for a walk later. I don't know. I'm still listening to Giveon. Yeah, man. Like, I just had a good night yesterday. Oh, ha. Huh, totally forgot about the biggest thing going on in my life. AAU practice. So I coach high school basketball. You know what you didn't know. And we had a practice last night. Um, we had about seven kids show up. A good practice. Good practice. Of, did a lot of skill work. A lot of skill work. I'm learning, you know, at the sophomore level, even if they're varsity players there's still a lot of things because growing up when i was coming up it was all about repping the fundamentals right learning anything like really any job any skill any hobby any talent you have you have to rep it right thousand hours it's ten thousand hours i think it's ten thousand hours you have to rep it rep it rep it till you get even if you don't master it, just so you become good at it you know those elite people they've mastered it so what was i saying before yeah Repping, just getting reps in, man. You know, if anything you want to be great at in life, you got to put the work in, 100%. So these kids nowadays, all they want to do is just go play, go play, go play, go play. Going to play ain't doing nothing for your skill, and it's not helping your in-game reps because typically you're not seeing in-game pressure when you're at the park or when you're hanging with your buddies outside or whatever the case may be. So, like, that's kind of my biggest thing so far, like, in summer basketball, just putting it, showing them actually how to work because they're still at that development stage and didn't actually have them implemented when it comes to practice, five on five, and then getting the confidence, because that's what it comes down to, confidence to do it in the game. So that's kind of like what my my biggest thing is this summer. In our last tournament, we didn't do so hot, finished one and two, could have finished, should have been a championship game, if you ask me. Next tournament's next weekend. So looking forward to getting back out there and playing, but got to put the work in. And as a coach, same thing. Reps, 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 right? Just getting mental reps and getting those real physical reps of actually getting the kids in the gym and, you know, because you got to master your, master your craft as well. So that's kind of my biggest thing is mastering my craft, become better at whatever I do, you know? Um, so there's that. Yeah, you know, we kind of have these lulls sometimes in, in the show because I got nothing, man. It's just like sometimes I sit here and just think, you know, the Lord for blessing me and where I'm at in life. Because, like, that's important, right? Self-reflection is really important. Looking back, that's a dog on a ledge. Okay. Just looking back and saying, hey, you know, at one point prior to, you wished you were here. You know? And that kind of was like, OMG, you're right. Like, when I was 23, 24, even 27, I said, I want to be at this point now and I'm here, but when you get there, you're just like, okay, what's the next step? What's the next step? And that's kind of my thing. 
the last few years and just going, hey, once you hit that, now I want to say milestone, once you hit that, that, that step you've been aiming for, take a second and just go, okay, let's, let's enjoy it for a second or two, okay? And stop always putting these, these, uh, I don't know, stop put, always putting these like justifications of why you can't chill for a second, you know? Yeah, everybody's working hard on social media. You see it. No, no days off. I'm always grinding. Psh, psh. They take days off. You don't see it on social media because they record all in one day. So that way, when they take days off, they just post it. Learned that a few weeks ago, okay? The drafts are full, ladies and gentlemen. The drafts are full. Self-care, mental care, mental health is a huge thing. And I'm not, I'm not saying that to be like a, you know, when it was a buzzword, like take your mental health days and you don't have to be sick. You don't have to be feeling sad. You don't, it's just, I want a day where I can do what I want right now, whether that be sleeping in, cleaning up. You know, some people like to clean and that helps them with their mental health. Going on that walk, whatever the case may be, man, take time for yourself. That's something I feel like society hasn't really pushed as much as entrepreneurship, accepting everybody, you know, and also just, you gotta be working hard, you ain't making no money, yeah, yeah. Okay, but you need that time yourself to just reflect, refocus, rejuvenate. Those are important pillars in becoming successful in whatever you want, whether that being the best self for you. Like, okay, you know, don't let these people and all these talking heads fool you. Like, everyone has a, a passion or a dream or something they aspire to be or wanna be what they want to do and when I tell you the step as long as you're taking positive steps in that direction no matter how small or big and you just don't stop right we call it hunting the small stuff looking for those small victories because sometimes throughout the day they're overshadowed because you haven't hit the main goal right your goal is to let's go weight loss let's lose 100 pounds and every week you've lost two. You're like, oh, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't lost none yet. Why aren't you celebrating? Hey, I lost two pounds this week. That's great, right? Because that's two pounds less than what you were. That's two pounds closer to your goal, right? Like, I lost one pound this week. You're sweating that? Like, honey, like, okay, hey, hey, something positive happened today. Or, hey, I shaved time off my mile. Hey, I was able to do a, a new PR. Hey, I was able to do a pull-up. Like, my first time doing pull-ups, I think I was 18. I couldn't do them all through high school. First time I ever tried was like seventh grade. I was so embarrassed. And if, to some people who, don't, who didn't know me, you would think I was gonna pull up my whole life. I'm like, no, bro. It took years for me to get to this do to this point, right? Working out at the gym. Hey man, you you play football? Hey man, you work out a lot, bro. Where I'm at now is not where I want to be, but like, I put the work in. Like, it lifting weights is one of those things, in my opinion. Some people don't like doing it, I get it. But it's like one of those, it's like that constant battle with your mind, like, because you gotta, I think you have to have some level of insanity to lift weights. There's gotta be a little insanity there. Because you're, the weights, they, you're doing the same rep over and over, right? And it's, 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 it's gotta be a little crazy, baby, yeah, it's gotta be a little crazy. Uh, but, yeah, uh, we're going to wrap it up, man. This has been a show about nothing with your favorite commentator, Gabriel. Just talking to you guys, man. If you guys want me to commentate or talk about something, let me know. I'm always down to converse and have a conversation. Intellectual, deep, funny. Conversation about nothing. That's what I'm here to do. I'll see you guys next time.